friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Wednesday, it's Wednesday so it's another what I eat in a day. We have kind of a low key day today. If you didn't know, Diesel just had a major surgery. He had a completely torn ACL and a torn meniscus. So he had surgery just a couple of days ago. So we're kind of lying low around the house. But I do have some fun things to share with you today as well as some really good food. I'll give you an update on Diesel and I have a delicious dinner recipe. So if you're excited for a what I eat in a day, give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Down in that description box, you will find nutrition coaching where I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend taking advantage of this so you know how many calories and macros you should be eating every day on WW or not to reach your goals. If you want to chat with me directly, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to everything I shared with you today, as well as all of my favorite things are down in that description box, along with my Facebook group. Head on over and join us. We have almost 19,000 members and it's a great place to be. So come on over and join us. So let's jump in to what I eat in a day to lose weight on WW. Here is my breakfast for this morning. I'm having two of my cheesy hash brown bacon egg cups that I prepped in Monday's meal prep. If you haven't seen meal prep, definitely check it out. The recipes were so good, these included. So these are three points a piece, so I'm having two of those. And then we had a little get together yesterday for the 4th of July, and I made this little fruit salad with apples papaya, cherries, and pineapple, and we had some left over, so I'm gonna have a little bit of that. So my breakfast is six points. Well, good morning. I thought that I would eat breakfast with you guys this morning. I wanted to give you guys an update on Diesel. He had his surgery on Friday, so I'm gonna give you guys an update right after this clip of like how he's doing since he had his surgery, exactly what they found when they did the x-rays and how we've been coping since. Like I mentioned, we had a little get together with some friends last night for the 4th of July, which was really nice. It was nice to hang out with some friends and take our mind off of Diesel's recovery a little bit. I haven't been tracking my food. It's just honestly not been a priority for me. I'm so busy taking care of Diesel. And with that comes the fact that I'm really not eating a lot right now only because I'm so busy with diesel that I just, number one, I'm not hungry because it's stressful and it takes up a lot of time and it's hard and I'm worried about him. So I'm definitely not overeating. If anything, I'm not quite eating enough. So I'm making sure that starting today, I am I am eating all of my calories. I want to make sure that I don't under eat, even if it's for a short period of time. I want to keep my metabolism stoked and revved. So I'm making sure that I'm going to get in enough calories today. So I'm going to be sharing points versus calories again with you guys today. You're going to see how many calories I eat to reach my goal, which is between 1800 and about 2,100 calories and what that equates to as points. I do get 32 points in a day. Generally, if I eat all my calories, I go over those 32 points. So we'll kind of see how today plays out. It's going to be kind of a low key day just because we don't have a whole lot going on with Diesel's recovery, but I thought it would still be fun for you guys to join us today. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you an update on Diesel and then I'm gonna take my supplements for the day and we'll get going with the rest of our day. Hi, buddy. Let's give our friends an update on your surgery. So he had his surgery on Friday. It's currently Sunday. 
So we're about two days post op. You can see that they had to shave a good part of his back leg. And then this is the knee. He ended up having a completely torn ACL and a torn meniscus. So it was quite an extensive surgery. Poor guy, he hobbles around pretty good on three legs. He doesn't necessarily like it, so we have to be super careful. There's a plastic shield that we have to tie on his leg if he goes outside and the grass is still wet because the cast can't get wet at all. So we, the easiest way to move him around is for us to keep him on his dog bed here and then we can literally just pull his dog bed around our floors. You can see we don't have any carpet, which is good because we can slide the dog bed easy, but not good because Diesel has a hard time not slipping and sliding on the carpet, and he can't do any damage to that leg at all. So we've been leaving him here by our back door because if we can just get him onto the stairs and he can go down the stairs pretty good, then he's able to get out into the yard. So two days post-op, he's doing pretty well. Uh, what we've been doing is when the grass dries because his cast can't get wet at all. When the grass dries, we've been taking him outside and letting him lay out by the tree. So that's my plan later today. He's heavy, he's about 120 pounds. I cannot move him by myself. So it's been a little bit of a struggle. He's still not really eating. He's drinking water, but he's not really eating anything. He takes a ton of medication. These are all of his pills. I mean, and some of these pills are huge. Most of these he takes two or three twice a day. So generally it's about 13 pills two times a day and he doesn't take pills well. So we've been having to just toss them to the back of his throat, which is not fun at all. But he's doing okay. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on how he was doing. I just finished my breakfast. I'm going to take my supplements. You guys always ask what vitamins and supplements I take. So in the morning, first thing I do as I'm getting ready for the day, you know, brushing my teeth, doing my skincare, I always take a gummy adult vitamin and a gummy hair, skin, and nail vitamin. And then once I eat, I take my Thrive probiotics. These are my personal probiotics from Thrive Gut Health. You guys know I'm big into gut health because it plays such a big part in just how we feel overall every day, but also how our body does with weight loss. Gut health can hinder your weight loss. So I took the Thrive Gut Health test a couple of months ago. Well, I guess maybe three or four months ago now, and I've been taking my personal probiotic since. So what you do is you submit your sample for the gut health test. They let you know what good bacteria you're deficient in, and then they they curate a personal probiotic for you that includes the probiotics that you're deficient in. So these are my personal probiotics. I take them, Troy takes them. We've been taking them daily now for months and we have seen a drastic, drastic difference in just how we feel overall and how healthy our guts are. I take these every single day with food or basically after either breakfast or lunch. This gut health, the Thrive Gut Health Test is 50% off. I will link it down below for you guys. Highly recommend. If you struggle with any ailments that could be related to your gut health, this test will tell you exactly where you're deficient and formulate and curate a personal probiotic to get you up to the levels that you need to be. I have never felt better since taking these and that goes for Troy as well. He was quite the skeptic and we've already already ordered him a second three month supply. So he's no longer a skeptic. So highly, highly recommend the Thrive Gut Health Test. The other supplement that I take every day is the My Adventure to Fit Greens. Now I am pretty good about eating my greens and getting my greens in, but I do supplement them every single day with the My Adventure to Fit Greens. This is the Banana apple flavor. I can never remember the flavor. These are really, really good. They taste good. They kind of taste like sour candy. You can mix these in a smoothie, mix them in water, or just dry scoop them where you just put the scoop into your mouth. That's generally what I do. Be careful with that. It takes a little bit of practice because it's hard to put a dry powder in your mouth and then of course swallow that powder swish with a little bit of water. So I take these every day after breakfast. So here is what the scoop looks like. I generally will put a tiny bit of water in my mouth pop in the greens, more water, swish, swallow. And like 
I said, they taste really good and I just feel good about making sure that I'm getting in my greens every single day. Now they were running a buy one, get one half off promotion for the 4th of July. I don't know if that's still going on, but they're affordable. I will go ahead and link the My Adventure to Fit down below and I do have a 10% off discount for you as well. So those are the supplements that I take every single day. So I'm going to have a quick morning snack. I'm gonna do a hum kombucha. Now this I picked up in my grocery haul at Costco. They're having a great sale on the hum. This mango passion fruit is so delicious. WW counts this as three points. I count this as one point. And then I'm having a peach to good yogurt just to get in some protein. I'm not super, super hungry. So I think the kombucha and the yogurt will be a perfect morning snack. Look at how cute this is. Palmer dug at the dog bed to make the perfect spot and he's laying there with his big brother. He has been really good with Diesel and so has Lola. Say hi, baby girl. She's been really good. She knows he doesn't feel good. She's very in tune with what's going on. So she's kind of steer cleared of him, which is good so that he can rest. But I just had to show you guys how cute it is that Palmer is cuddled up with him on his dog bed. So here's my lunch for today. I'm doing my meal prep, my pineapple fried rice. This recipe is incredible. I actually ate this for lunch yesterday before we did our little 4th of July barbecue because I was super hungry and I didn't think I could quite make it to dinner. This is absolutely incredible. It is super low point, but it's pretty high in calories, which is great because that way you're able to reach your calorie goal a bit easier on WW when you utilize foods like this that have quite a bit of zero point foods in them. It is so good and so, so filling. So this is going to be my lunch. I'm still working on my gallon of water and I'll be back a little bit later to share with you my afternoon snack. Diesel's outside on the dog bed, so this little nugget took his indoor recovery bed. It's about three o'clock, I'm going to have an afternoon snack. I'm a little hungry, not starving, but I'm a little hungry, and I'm not sure exactly what time Troy will be home, and then I'm gonna have to leave to go upload a video. So I think I'm gonna do just a light snack. I'm feeling like something sweet, savory, kind of a little bit of a mix with a little bit of a crunch. I'm currently in my pantry, like, scavenging what I want. Do I want some of these coconut rolls? Do I want some of my almonds? Do I want a Utopia snack? Okay, I decided I'm gonna have some of my wasabi and soy sauce blue diamond almonds. I'm just gonna have four points worth of these and that'll satisfy that crunch, but it'll also keep me full until dinner because these have some really good healthy fats. I love these so, so much. So I'm just gonna weigh out four points worth on my food scale. For dinner tonight, I'm making cheese burger crunch wraps. These sound absolutely delicious. It is a very summery barbecue cookout type of recipe. We're just going to pair this with some leftover cut up fruit from last night, the same fruit I had for breakfast this morning. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need a pound of 96% extra lean ground beef. Whatever burger toppings you would like. I have some tomato, lettuce, and red onion left over from last night's barbecue. Some Velveeta sliced cheese. Whatever tortillas you would like to use, I wanna use these up. These are the flat out Italian herb. I think these are gonna be perfect for this recipe. My seasoning of choice for burgers is the Trader Joe's barbecue rub with coffee. It is delicious on burgers. And then I just have some yellow mustard and no sugar added ketchup. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my 96% extra lean ground beef, one pound, and I'm going to divide it into four equal patties, add them here to my nonstick skillet. Next up, I'm going to just season my burgers with that Trader Joe's rub, and then when I do flip them, I will add some seasoning to the other side as well. It's literally our favorite rub ever for burgers. It is so delicious. I'm going to pop this on the stovetop and get these burgers fried up. So my burgers are frying up. I went ahead and pulled out some leftover cooked bacon from last night's barbecue as well so that we can have that in our crunch wrap. This is going to be so delicious. So once these burgers get cooked up, we'll remove these from the pan and we'll start assembling the crunch wraps. So our burgers are done. I'm going to go ahead and remove the pan from the heat. I'm gonna use a clean pan to actually cook the crunch wrap. 
So for the crunch wraps, you can see that I just have a separate clean pan. I'm going to spray it with some non-stick cooking spray. I'm going to add my flat out wrap directly to the pan, but I'm going to kind of leave part of it hanging over to make it easier to fold. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my burger patty and place it in the center. Like I mentioned, we have some leftover bacon from our barbecue, so I'm going to place one slice of bacon in the center of my burger patty so you can see kind of how I'm assembling my wrap. And then I'm going to add one slice of my light Velveeta cheese, but I'm actually going to tear it in half so the cheese goes a little more over that side of the wrap. And you also have to add in any condiments or whatever you're putting in your wrap as well. I am not going to add in my ketchup and mustard. I'll just dip my wrap in that but I am putting in some red onion. I love red onion. And then I'm also going to, I know I don't, I don't know how this is gonna work. Per the recipe, it says to add all your lettuce and everything to the middle. I'm hoping that that doesn't make it too soggy, the lettuce. So it basically looks like a deconstructed hamburger. And then we're going to fold that edge that we left out over. And I'm gonna kind of just press down and then we're going to cook this over medium heat until it's nice and crispy. I will spray this side as well before I flip it. Look at how gorgeous she is. I just flipped her over. I'm going to let her crisp up on the other side and then I'll be back to share points and calories. So here's my dinner for tonight. Doesn't this look absolutely delicious? Like I said, it's barbecue cookout vibes for really low calorie and pretty low points for a big dinner. So here is what my crunch wrap looks like. So it is two points for the flat out bread. You could use a one point tortilla. Really anything would work for the vessel to put the hamburger in. My hamburger itself is four points. That is six. My cheese is one for seven and my piece of bacon is one for eight. So my crunch wrap is eight points. I have a little bit of that no sugar added ketchup and some mustard and then like I mentioned some of the leftover fruit from our barbecue so this entire dinner is only eight points and it's really like going out for a burger but better dinner update that crunch wrap was delicious highly recommend not putting your lettuce in the wrap when you cook it the lettuce definitely got soggy and warm I ended up pulling it out what I did realize is that you can still open up the crunch wrap once it's cooked and add in your lettuce, your tomato. I was fine putting the onions in there, but you can add everything at the end. You are definitely able to open up the crunch wrap. So pro tip if you're making that recipe. As you can see, I'm in my car. I ran quickly to Walmart to upload my meal prep for tomorrow. I'm filming this video on Sunday and I always put meal prep out on Monday. So by the time you see this, that is up. Really, really good recipes. You guys saw me eat a lot of those in today's What I Eat in a Day. So I'm at McDonald's doing that. I think when in Rome, I'm going to grab myself a small vanilla cone and that'll be my dessert for tonight. Everything that I'm eating for today, I'll wrap it up with that vanilla cone. I'm pretty full from dinner. It just sounds really good. It's 100 degrees here. And like I said, when you're at McDonald's, you can't pass up picking up a vanilla cone. And also, this is my last glass of water and my gallon will be done. This is three quarters of the way gone. So by the time I get home, I will have finished my gallon of water. So that's gonna wrap up this What I Eat in a Day. On the next screen, I will put the points versus calories for you so that you can see exactly how many points I ate and how many calories I had today. Thank you for joining me on another What I Day to lose weight on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, getting all of the diesel updates, all the delicious food that I ate, and of course that dinner recipe is on my recipe website, which is down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to everything I shared with you today, and my Facebook group. Definitely check out that description box. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up, and if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, of course I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.